Hello and welcome to the Downloads Training Intro Webinar. In today's class, we're going to focus on the topics of setting up your system to receive carrier downloads. We'll look into how you can get an Ivan's account for your agency, where you can go to set up that Ivan's account information in Catalyst, now, if this is your first time participating in Carrier Downloads, you will need to get an Ivan's account set up for your agency. In order to get an Ivan's account set up, you can contact one of your primary writing carriers. We have a list on our website of the carriers that are currently certified to do downloads with QQ Catalyst. If I open up another tab here, I'm going to go to our website at qqsolutions.com. I'll hover over the Solutions option and click on QQ Catalyst. And if we scroll down almost to the bottom of the page, we'll see this box here for other features. And in the bottom left corner, we have the Carrier Downloads link. If I click here, this gives me a list of the supported carriers. They are supported with Ivans. They do downloads with QQ Solutions. All you need to do at this point is contact one of the carriers on the list here that you do business with. Let them know that you're looking to start participating in carrier downloads, but you do not have an Ivan's account set up for your agency. They'll create you a new Ivan's account and email that information over to you. Then we can go back into Catalyst. If we hover over the username that we're logged in as in the top right of the screen, we'll see Preferences is the first option on the list. The download setup will occur in our Location Preferences. We do cover the Location and Global Preferences in further detail in our System Setup Training Webinar. These areas are usually reserved for just your system administrators, so if you do not have access to these areas, your system administrator will need to come and set up the downloads. Now here we are in the location preferences. You'll see these are divided by the different agency office locations that you have available. In my test database I have three physical office locations for my agency. The downloads will have its own separate tab here. So for my training main office location, looking at my download setup, I can see where I can enter my Ivan's account information here. So the email you receive from the carrier is typically going to contain an Ivan's account number and a user ID. They're not going to send you a separate password. If you notice here, the password is actually exactly the same as my user ID. That is by design, so yours is going to work the same way. I will come into this section and click Edit, enter my account number for the Ivan's account and the user ID, and then I can copy and paste the user ID into the password section. Mailbox support type, you have a couple options here. By default, this will be set to ECS, which is typically where you will need this set at. You can get assistance with your Ivan's account set up from our product support team. If you need to contact them at any point, you can hover over your username and go down to the support and training option. This is also where you'll find the link to register for our additional live webinar classes that we teach weekly and where you can watch the recorded versions of those class under the on-demand training link. But you'll see here the contact information for the product support department, their phone number and email address. If you need to reach out to them for any assistance with the Ivan's account setup or with setting up the download assistant tool for any non-Ivan's carrier downloads, then you can certainly reach out to them by phone or email to set up a time for assistance. Now if you're just doing Ivan's downloads for the one agency office location, then I can click Save here. I have my Ivan's account information set up on that one location. Now, when we have the Ivan's account information input, we can also schedule an automatic time for the downloads to occur. That would be the second box down below here. The time that we set does not need to be when my computer is turned on. Since the downloads will occur in the cloud, your machine can be shut off. You will find the downloads waiting in the download section for you when you reboot the machine the next day. So I can come in here and click Edit, set the time of day, and make sure the Enable box is checked so that the downloads can happen at the same time every day. And then you're just going into the download section to review and process anything that might still need some matching assistance.